In what comes as big development, as many as 17 Bangladeshi nationals were arrested from Assam's Biswanath district today. As per reports, the Bangladeshi nationals were napped from a char locality of Bagmara, Bagmari. It is learned that all the arrested Bangladeshis had come to India on tourist visa to visit Delhi, Ajmer Sharif and other religious sites. They were allegedly spreading religious messages at Bagmara. Currently, the Assam police is interrogating the arrested individuals. এখানে ফারস্টে ইন্ডিয়াতে আসে মেইনলি আজমির শরীফ ভিজিট করার জন্য আর আমাদের এখানে কিছু রিলেটিভ আছে যারা রেগুলার বাংলাদেশে প্রতি বছরই যায় এবং তারা আমাদের ঘরে থাকে বা দুই চার দিন থাকে এবং তারাও অনেক সময় ইন্ডিয়াতে আসলে আমাদেরকে দাওয়াত দিয়ে আসে যে তো আপনারা ইন্ডিয়াতে আসলে আমাদের ঘরে আপনাদের দাওয়াত থাকলো তো আজমির শরীফ দরকার ভিজিটের বাদে আমরা এখানে ওই তাদের ঘরে দাওয়াত হিসাবে তারা লগে থেকে আমাদেরকে নিয়ে আসছে বেঙ্গল থেকে আমরা বাংলাদেশে মানে আজমির শরীফ দরকার ভিজিটের পরে কুচবিহার হয়ে আমরা চলে যাওয়ার জন্য আর কি রওনা হচ্ছিলাম তখন ওরা যে মিট করে ওরা আমাদেরকে নিয়ে আসছে যে আমাদের ঘরে দুই একদিন আপনাদের থাকা আপনার নাম সৈয়দ আশরাফুল আলম বাড়ি কোথায় বাড়ি বগুড়া বগুড়া ডিস্ট্রিক্ট শেরপুর থানা আপনি পীর পীর বলতে কি আমার বাবা দাদা ছিল পীর আমি মেইনলি সফটওয়্যার ইঞ্জিনিয়ার আর আমার মানে ওই বাবা দাদার যে সম্মানের জন্য আমাকে রেসপেক্ট করে সেই হিসাবে রেসপেক্ট করে কিন্তু আমি কোনো ইসলামিক ওরকম স্কলার না এমনি আমার এডুকেশন সব জেনারেল লাইনে Meanwhile, ADGP Special Branch Hiren Nath has made sensational revelations stating that the arrest is not just a case of simple violation of visa, rather there may be a bigger clandestine design. Speaking exclusively to our Chief of Bureau Arindam Das, ADGP Nath said, concerns on the motive of uh, Bangladeshi nationals for coming to a remote area in Biswanath covering 300 odd kilometers. He also informed that the arrested individuals were preaching religious activities. ADGP Nath, however, affirmed that the police is probing the matter very seriously. Listen in. We are joined in by the ADGP of Special Branch of Assam Police, Mr. Hiran Nath. Well, 17 Bangladeshi nationals have been arrested from Bishwana district of Assam. So what information you have got about the seven Bangladeshi nationals? Are they simple? violation of uh, visa rules or is there a bigger sinister design? At this moment, we have registered the case for violation of visa rules and foreigners act because they have come on tourist visa. Uh, when someone comes on tourist visa, he cannot do any kind of preaching or any kind of economic activities. So when we have found them preaching, uh, we have uh, uh, booked them under this foreigners act and we are investigating these things uh, with priority and uh, we'll uh, arrest them. Uh, and then take them into custody and uh, during the custodial interrogation I think more information will come. Uh, leader of this group, uh, Syed Asraful Alam, he came uh, to South Salmar on 29th of August this month also and at that time we warned him and he took a plea that he was on the way to Ajmer Sharib, Rajasthan. So since Ajmer Sharib is a tourist uh, location, tourist destination, people may visit it but now we have found after 15 or 20 days that he has come much inside and going, uh, coming into an interior place of uh, Assam, which is uh, more than 300 kilometers from Guwahati. And uh, definitely there is no tourist destination or tourist attraction uh, in those areas. These are only chore areas. Uh, we are finding out that what for they were going there and what they were doing. Well, this is not the first instance that uh, visa rules have been violated. People from Bangladesh coming on tourist and medical visa violating visa rules. Earlier also several such incidents have taken place. In fact, the Ministry of External Affairs had to step in to cancel the visa of seven Bangladeshi nationals a couple of months back. So is this a matter of concern or is this a new terror module? It's definitely an uh, area of concern for us because in the past you have seen that we took this uh, matter with the uh, MEA uh, through the IB and uh, uh, Central Intelligence Agencies and their visas were blacklisted. But we have observed that gradually these things are increasing and this time 17 people have come, 17 BD national have come and they have gone much interior of the state where there should not be uh, any kind of tourist attraction or anything. So it's an area of concern definitely for us. We are investigating all these cases, all uh, these aspects. Well, on the other hand, uh, there is a bigger ter terror module that the Assam police is busting right now along with the NIA, that's the ABT or the Al-Qaeda of Indian subcontinent. So the launch pad has been Bangladesh. Yeah. So are you seeing any connection with this 
visa violation as well as the terror module of a ABT that you are busting right now? As of now, we have not found any connection with this group, but we are investigating these things with priority. We are not ruling out anything because our duty is to go to each and every aspect of this issue and investigate this thoroughly. And we'll go to the deepest of the uh, matter and we'll find out on earth what has happened actually. Lastly, I'd like to know from you that uh, we have seen that earlier it was the Western frontier that has been the launch pad of Al-Qaeda or other terror modules yes. to India. Yes. Right now it has been Bangladesh. Yeah. So why this shift? There has been attempt. I don't say that uh, there, has, uh, there was no attempt, but there has been attempt in the past also. You know about JMB. Uh, in JMB it was more serious because we, at that time, we arrested 64 of them and uh, then we recovered um, uh, at least 10 crude bombs which were blasted in Bangladesh in 2005 uh, in uh, almost 90 places in Bangladesh. So all this connection we are getting from time to time. What happens actually when we start working and uh, taking action against these elements, so for some time they uh, go down and after some time again they try to you know regroup themselves. But we are very careful every time. One of the good thing is this, our people, police force is very active, alert, and every time, whenever there is an attempt, we get to know about these elements and we take action and they are neutralized at the very beginning.